Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the unexpected surprises that are coming your way. Um, I do not have personals open right now, Pisces. I closed them out on the 21st. You're more than welcome to follow me on Patreon if you'd like. I do post additional content there for each sign. So the link is going to be down below if you are interested. Uh, so for this round of readings, I'm going to be doing different, uh, not really spreads, but I'm going to be picking up and then doing, you know, the next surprise, the next surprise, you know, just going over different surprises just because, um, if they're so general, I don't want to, you know, just stick to one thing here. I want people, as many people as possible to get a message for themselves, okay? So, if it's not resonating with you in the beginning, just feel free to stick around or skip around. You may find something that does, okay? So, Pisces, Seven of Wands. Somebody here could have Mars and Leo, all right? Let's look at what's happening with this, with the Seven of Wands showing up here. I didn't show you guys, so there it is. I feel like some of you could be really on edge here. Oh, no wonder. Goodness gracious. Some of you are being really overworked, okay? Or you're overworking yourself. You're overdoing something here. So just be mindful of that. Let's look at what else is happening here. If this is like a connection. It's going to involve a Virgo or a Capricorn. I've got fire here, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, okay? Um, but it does seem like your passion moves towards something else. You want to be mindful of burnout, okay? And you want to be mindful of how much you're investing in something because I feel like your your passion or your desire, it's going to shift very quickly. So just watch how much you're investing here. Some of you, I really want to say watch for contracts here. Now, if you know this is something you want long term, like you're sure of it, you know, you, you have free will is basically what I'm trying to say here. And it's not going to resonate for everybody, but it does feel as if you guys, you know, your focus is on one thing here and you may sign a contract. You may like bind yourself to something here. So you want to be careful with that because um, I feel like there are multiple things you could be doing here. And I do think that you want to be careful. You want to read the fine print here. Um, you're eligible for something. Or like you like pass a test for something here. Uh, it just seems like you meet the criteria. You check all the boxes with the uh, Seven of Wands showing up here. So the Eight of Wands, you get to work on something here. Seems like a blessing, a good opportunity. However, I feel like it could be something that takes up a lot of time. Okay, It uh, overworks you or it just it puts you in a box. You can't do anything else. So it's something that you want to really be careful with here. You got the Page of wand showing up as well so i do feel like your passion will shift there will be a new opportunity so just make sure that you're reading the fine print here when it comes to contracts and things of that nature because i feel like you know there will be a shift in your desires that could surprise you so just be careful of what you're investing in how much you're investing how much freedom it gives you you're going to want to ask all those questions okay let's see what else we're getting for pisces what else are we getting for pisces here Next surprise for Pisces. Two of uh, Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. All right, so some of you could have that placement. You don't have to. What's going on with this for Pisces? I feel like something you had a feeling about is about to come true here. It's like, like you have a feeling here and then it manifests into reality. That's how that feels to me with that infinity symbol there and the two pentacles being bind together. It's like thought, reality. So it's like something you had a feeling about here comes true. Like something you've been carrying with you here. It doesn't really feel like it's a bad thing if I'm being honest. It feels like this is something that's going to bring you a victory. Like this is something that not everyone knew or not everyone is capable of managing here. It's some kind of energy like that where um, you get a really unique opportunity because you you saw it. Okay. You saw it first. That's that's the energy that I get here. Um, and you've been put, you've been working towards that with the 10 of wands here. You've been working towards that ever since you saw it. And now it's like coming to the light for everybody to see here and you know I feel as if th this comes true okay and there's a big shift for you because you saw it first you saw it early okay so yeah that's how that feels to me you know something you had a feeling about like it was going to be successful you know that's the energy that I get here or you had a feeling that like something was going to open up for you and it opens up for you okay I mean it just opens up in general but I feel like um you're the one to get this here you're the one to receive this all right you have the five of pentacles you have the devil here yeah, and there are people who um, 
are binded to something else. You got the five of pentacles, just a soft 444, four, four, and the um, devil card here. So you do want to be mindful of people sneaking in towards this opportunity here. You got the knight of pentacles because I feel like it's slowly coming to the light. It's slowly becoming um, more known is how that feels to me. So I'm not sure what this energy is about here, Pisces, but you want to be careful of people stealing something that is yours, okay? You've had your eye on it or it was your idea first. It's that kind of energy that I'm getting here, all right? I feel like somebody's wanting me to share something with them that they didn't put any work towards. It's just, it's that kind of energy that I'm feeling here, okay? Could be family or somebody in the home. Weird energy, Pisces. Let's go ahead and see what else we have for you here. And it's almost like whoever that is that's trying to keep you chained to them or keep you chained to them financially, whatever way this uh, is going here, it's like these people never believed in the vision that you had and then it manifests in reality and they you know they're all for it suddenly right what's going on here ace of wands this could happen in the springtime for some of you or something's going on in the springtime things are blooming things are growing for you it looks exciting pisces seven of swords you want to be careful though like i said of this energy moving in here it could be a gemini or somebody who has their moon sign in aquarius what else do we have here for pisces for this energy right here what's what's this ace of wands here the temperance card okay so um i feel like your spiritual gifts are heightening here with the um temperance card showing up there's a lot of healing that's taking place here and of course there are going to be some triggers there are going to be some triggered people coming in because of that this could be family okay could be a scorpio or a sagittarius all right got uh, aquarius moon here as well for someone mercury and virgo but the ten of pentacles this is something that's going to bring you major stability security uh long term okay and then you have the temperance card here like you've done a lot of work doing this healing please do not allow this knight of swords whoever this is to move you backwards okay i feel like this is something that you're going to have to dead just in the situation here and if you look here closely in the card i hope it'll yeah there we go um in the back here that is the sun, okay? So a lot of people see the death card as something that's very scary because it is a little bit destructive, right? It talks about putting a complete into something and nothing nothing is safe to this energy. Like it's a huge transformation. Death is inevitable. We're all gonna face it at some point. But it's also that energy of, again, transformation. Like nothing is created or uh, destroyed. It's transformed. And you've got that sun there in the background. So it's really this energy of knocking on heaven's door. So yes, you end something here, but I feel like it is something that like left you, it kept you on your toes like it kept you on the edge of your seat and while that may be exciting it's very anxious and it kept you limited it kept you stuck it kept you watching your back it you know it took you out of focus so when you when you end that here you have the sun right underneath that you have the chariot right underneath that queen of swords underneath that queen of swords is somebody who puts a lot behind her look at the way she's sitting and her crown is made of butterflies, which is like a, the symbol of transformation. So it's like you're transforming that energy that kept you stuck. You're transforming that um, in, into a victory is how that feels to me with the chariot. So it's like you end something here and it may be kind of scary, but you know, there's this energy of knocking on heaven's door here, Pisces. And I, again, I feel like the springtime is going to be significant for this spiritual development, healing, um, and you know, financial opportunities here. So I like that for you a lot, Pisces. Please feel free to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, I do want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.